Hi everyone! We are excited to announce Motion Tools Pro Update, a special tool that makes working in Adobe After Effects faster and more enjoyable. It's your personal command center where all your favorite tools are just one click away. You need Adobe After Effects 2022 or newer to use this tool. You'll get a ZXP file. This is your extension package. To install it, use ZXP installer window from AE Scripts. The link will be in description and documentation. When you drag and drop the ZXP file into the ZXP installer window or select it from the folder from menu, wait a moment for the installation to complete. After it finishes, restart After Effects so it can find your new tool. Open After Effects and navigate to the window menu. Under Extensions, you'll find your new toolkit Motion Tools Pro. The extension provides four customizable panels that you can open and arrange in your workspace. Each panel works as a unique command center for your tools. You might set up one for animation tasks, another for project organization, and others for your favorite scripts or expressions. You can open several at once. Notice how each one displays its own unique set of tools, giving you a customized workspace. Let's look inside one of these panels. This grid holds your tools. We call them cells. Each cell is usually a button that does something when clicked, so you get result as fast as possible. At the top, you'll find a layout selector. This menu expands to show all your saved layouts when clicked. Watch how the entire panel transforms when you select a different layout. Also from here, you can search for specific layout and create new one. Next to it, look for a pencil icon. This is the Edit Layout button. When you click it, you enter the edit mode. This is where you can reshape your workspace. There's also a gear icon. This button opens the main settings panel. This is where you control everything behind the scenes. Right-click on the panel background to open FastLink to the settings and special code editor. Right-click on a specific cell to see tool-specific options appear. For setting the app license, you can use hamburger icon. Clicking it reveals a drop-down menu where you will find access to about information, license manager, and connect to support. Your grid can hold different kinds of tools, each with its own visual style. Script cells are the most common. They usually appear as clean, simple buttons with icons or text. Click them and watch as they trigger actions and after effects. Many script cells have hidden powers. Try holding Alt or Option on Mac, Shift or Cotrel while clicking for different options. Each action can be found in the tooltips and script descriptions. For example, the Add Null script creates a null object and parents all selected layers to it. Holding the Shift key creates a null for each selected layer. We tried to make the simple scripts as fast and flexible as possible so you can use them in different ways. Widget cells look more complex than simple buttons. They showcase compact interfaces with interactive elements. You might see sliders that respond to your mouse movements, color pickers that display vibrant spectrums, or text fields ready for your input. Widgets bundle related functionality into one convenient package. They also have hidden powers. For example, we can change the easings of selected keyframes by moving sliders. Holding the Alt key will shake both the in and out influence symmetrically making more complex motion faster. A layout is simply a saved arrangement of your panel grid. Adding tools is simple. Find an empty cell in the grid. As you move your mouse over it, notice how a plus button appears. Click it and observe a menu unfold with all your available tools displayed as a scrollable gallery. Select one to add it to the cell. You can add a script only once to the layout if a script or widget is already added in the currently opened layout, that cell will be disabled. If you need to focus on a specific type of tools, we have filters for that. Once you have tools in place, you can arrange them. Click the Edit Layout button and notice how the panel shifts into edit mode with a subtle visual change. Move your mouse over a tool you want to adjust. To resize, grab the corner handle. 
To move it, grab near the top and see it lift slightly as you drag it to a new location. Delete a tool by clicking the X icon. When you're done arranging, click the Edit Layout button again. Widgets are also responsive. Their design can change depending on the size of the cell they occupy, making efficient use of your panel space. Some widgets have hidden functionality at different sizes, but we will talk about it in the next tutorial. Here's a quick tip. Hold down Control alt shift or Command-Option-Shift on Mac, and move your mouse over any tool. Notice how just that one tool's edit controls appear. Make your change and let go of the keys to see the controls disappear instantly. The main settings panel is your control center for deep customization. Access it by clicking the gear icon in any tool panel or through the right-click context menu. This panel is organized into main sections for managing content, like scripts and expressions, layouts and overall application settings. The Content Settings view helps you manage your tools collection. On the left, categories are arranged in a tree structure including basic, user-created, and installed sections. Below these categories, you'll find selectors to choose which panel and specific layout you're configuring content for. The right side displays your tool settings based on what you select. If nothing is selected, the right side will show the scripts gallery, which can be turned on by clicking the first button in the top left corner. Here, you will quickly see icons and descriptions for all scripts and widgets. You can search among them and apply filters. Click on the desired tool to open the settings form. One additional feature is the scripts drop zone. You can drop JSX or JSX bin files for fast access to scripts. For example, we have some scripts with interfaces. Let's move the file onto the drop zone. Once done, the script will appear in the Execute Scripts section. This is just a link to the specific file on your computer. Next, you can add the script from the library to the selected layout to make it possible to open it from the main panel. The second tab is the Expressions Gallery where you manage After Effects expressions. At the top, you'll find buttons for creating new expressions, importing and exporting your collection, filtering by category, searching text, or showing only favorites. The Author Collections toggle reveals expression packs from trusted creators that can expand your toolset. For now, they are not available. We will add them soon. Each expression card displays its name and description. You can preview the code, mark favorites, copy to the clipboard, add to the library, or apply directly to selected properties in After Effects. After adding an expression to the library, you will find it in the user-based categories, from where you can add it to any layout and style it. Creating a new expression is straightforward. You simply name it, add a description, select a category, add tags for easier searching, and write your expression code in the editor. When you select a specific tool that has been added to the layout, its setup form appears with various settings, including name, styling options, and description details. For scripts and widgets, you can see a live preview that updates in real time as you make changes. You can also click the preview to test functionality without needing to add it to the layout. The styling section controls your tool's visual appearance. Here you can set backgrounds with colors or gradients, Choose icons from your computer, set text colors, and toggle whether to show names or icons. For widgets, you'll find additional controls for elements like slider or button styles. If a tool is not added to the layout, you won't see its styles because styling is applied to the layout itself, not to the tool. At the bottom of the form are several important action buttons. The Save button updates the base settings of your tool. Add to Layout places it in your panel with current styling. Reset reverts layout-specific styling to default, helpful when you've made unwanted changes. After making changes, don't forget to press the Save button to save your changes. Motion Tools Pro isn't limited to pre-built tools. You can create your own custom expressions and scripts to expand your toolkit 
and solve specific workflow challenges. The extension makes it easy to save and organize these custom tools. For repetitive tasks, create expressions and apply them to the selected properties with a single click. For specialized workflows, write scripts that automate multiple steps at once. When creating or editing these custom tools, the interface offers a tabbed layout for better clarity and organization. The Editor tab always provides a code editor with syntax highlighting for easier reading. For both the Scripts and Expressions editor, we provide autocomplete for built-in functions. Additionally, like any modern code editor, you can press Ctrl-D to multi-select the same word or expression and edit them simultaneously. You can find all additional features in the documentation. However, its capabilities differ slightly depending on what you're editing. For scripts, you can write extend script code directly or link to an external file on your computer. The link file option is particularly useful for complex scripts, allowing you to execute external files instead of embedded code. For expressions, you still get the code editor for writing after effects expressions, but with additional powerful tools. The import button allows you to import expressions from selected properties into the active expression editor. You can toggle the Live Update button to see your expression changes reflected in After Effects almost instantly. To use this feature, simply select the needed property or multiple properties, make changes in the code editor, and wait briefly. Next to it, you can adjust the update frequency in seconds using plus and minus buttons, ensuring updates happen at a comfortable speed with a minimum of one second. The Sync button enables linking, Linking means you don't need to select properties repeatedly to apply expression changes. To use this, press the Import button for one or multiple properties. When active, with Live Update enabled, changes apply automatically. A counter next to the Sync button shows how many properties are currently linked. Clicking it opens a menu to manage these linked properties. In this additional menu, you can also remove linked properties or disable live updates for selected properties. If you need to add more properties, select them and press import again. They will be added to the list of linked properties and updated automatically if live update is enabled. Further controls include the pick button, which uses a grab icon to get the property path from the selected property and paste it into the expression editor. Finally, the apply button sends the expression currently in the editor to your selected properties manually. This is similar to the Execute button, but it will be very useful in Expand mode, which can be activated by clicking in the top right corner to show the code editor in full screen. The Styling tab controls your tool's visual appearance similar to the built-in tools. The Info tab is where you define your tool's identity. The Display Name field sets what appears on the cell in your grid, which can differ from the internal script name for clearer labeling. The Description field provides space for notes about functionality, while the Help tip creates tool tips that appear when hovering over the cell in the main panel. And the last feature, if the expression has a mistake, the interface will show a tool tip with the error that indicates the exact line containing the mistake. In the top left corner, the third tab is App Settings. In the Settings view, find Layouts on the left side to access Layout Management. The Create New Layout button starts you with a fresh grid ready for customization. Duplicate Layout creates an exact copy of an existing layout, extremely useful when making variations without risking changes to your original design. Additional options include Reset Layout, which restores settings to their defaults, and import-export functionality that enables saving layouts to a file for backup or sharing purposes. Once a layout is selected, you can customize its appearance in detail. Rename your layout and select an icon that appears in the drop-down menu. Set the panel background to match After Effects default look, or choose custom colors, gradients, or images. Control cell size by setting width and height in pixels, and adjust spacing between cells for your preferred density. 
Cell background and border settings define the default appearance for all cells in this layout. The hide title toggle can show or hide the panel's top bar for a more compact look. You can also set the default icon size for this specific layout. The Add button option allows you to disable the Add button in the cell if it becomes distracting. You can still add scripts to the layout from the script library. After making changes, click Update Layout to save them for this layout. You can also save your style to a file for reuse, load from a saved file, or reset to defaults if needed. The Settings view includes important sections for overall extension configuration. The Panel Settings section lets you choose which layout loads by default for each panel when After Effects starts, creating a consistent workspace each time you begin working. In App Settings, you can set a custom path for extension files, open the Config folder to access files directly, or reset all settings to default values if needed. The Scripts Settings section helps manage installed script packs. You'll see a list showing script names, installation status, license information, and action buttons for documentation or version history. The Actions menu in the top corner provides functions for managing your scripts. You can import scripts from files or from KBAR, download new packs, export your collection for backup or sharing, or clear user-added scripts. If you encounter any issues while using Motion Tools Pro, we've got resources to help. For detailed information on all features and solutions to common problems, please check our official documentation. If you run into a specific problem that isn't covered, you can reach out through our contact support form. And if the extension seems completely unresponsive or isn't loading at all, please contact our support team directly so we can assist you promptly. With everything set up, you'll find yourself working faster in After Effects as all your tools are right where you need them responding effectively to your commands. We hope this overview helps you get started with Motion Tools Pro. Explore its features, customize your layouts, and start building your own personalized toolkit. Happy creating, and we'll see you in the next lesson.